What's up guys, Chris from Full Battle Jacket here. And today I wanna to talk about a problem that I was experiencing with uh, Streamlabs OBS and capturing my PlayStation 5 game footage uh, for a future video. Um, so more specifically, I had downloaded the Metaphor ReFantasio demo on the PlayStation 5. And so the issue I was having was prior to recording that footage, there were some updates that needed to be made in Streamlabs. And uh, also I went through and I downloaded all the most recent updates for uh, Elgato's uh, capture software, my camera, so on and so forth. So after I downloaded all the software updates and everything was installed, I relaunched Streamlabs OBS and uh, was preparing to record. And that's when I noticed that uh, my PS5 audio was not coming through on down here in the mixer. And so I proceeded to spend the next two hours trying to troubleshoot what was wrong with my PS5 audio because I didn't change anything other than download the software updates. Now, it's not often I have to dig around in OBS settings. It's um, frankly not something that I'm particularly comfortable with. Uh, you know, I much prefer to like set it and forget it if I can, although I know that's uh, sometimes wishful thinking when it comes to software like OBS. Um, come to find out the solution wasn't in OBS at all. You know, I had been chasing my tail for, you know, no particular reason whatsoever. I'm going to share with you what I did to fix the problem. And I believe this will be a useful solution no matter which console you happen to be using, whether that would be a PlayStation 5, an Xbox, or a Nintendo Switch console. Uh, this should work for uh, all of them. So uh, what you're going to do and what I ended up doing was, um, believe it or not, you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to open up your uh, software that came along with your capture card. For me, this was the 4K capture utility software. I'm using the Elgato 4K uh, capture card. And uh, for you, you know, if you're not using that particular card, maybe you're using a different Elgato card, perhaps you're using the HD60 capture card. Whichever capture card you happen to be using, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go out to the Elgato website, or if you're using a, a competing brand, go out to that competing brand's website, and you're gonna go to their download section. And under the download section, you're gonna find and uh, make sure that you have downloaded the latest version of the uh, capture card software, whether or not you, you use it to actually capture footage, uh, you're still going to want to go ahead and download that software. So once you've downloaded the Capture Utility software, you're going to go into Settings. Uh, for me, that's this little cog up here up in the corner. If I hover over it, it says Open Preferences. Click that. Then you're going to want to, under Preferences, go ahead and click on the Device tab. And under the Device tab, you're going to go down and find uh, the area where it says audio input. And by default, or in my particular case, after you've updated the software, this may be um, reset back to analog audio. If you're using a console and you have your console plugged into a capture card, what you're gonna wanna do instead is you're gonna wanna click this drop down, and you're gonna click on HDMI audio instead. You do that, Click apply, okay, and huzzah, we have audio. That was the problem. That ate up two hours of my day today that I would have much preferred to have been playing the demo for Metaphor Refantasio. Anyhow, I hope this video was helpful to at least somebody. If it was helpful to one person, then it was worth it for me to take the time and sit down today and uh, walk through the process of uh, what it took for me to solve my audio issues, capturing game footage from my PlayStation 5 into Streamlabs OBS. If it was helpful to you, do me a favor, click that like button. It, um, 
it helps a ton in terms of pushing this content out to other viewers. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the bell notification so whenever I post a new video, you'll be notified straight away. Did this video help you solve your console audio problems? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Later.